Hello once again, it's Terra the Curious, and today we'll be talking about poo rockets. In 1.4.4, Relogic, or rather Red, added poo blocks in Terraria. To get poo blocks, you eat food, which is then excreted and picked up by you shortly afterwards. The amount of poo you can excrete depends on the tier of the food buff and the duration, but the most you can get from a single food item is from the Golden Delight, which is 141 blocks of poo, all released at once. But how much poo is 141 blocks of poo exactly? Well, knowing each block is 2 feet wide and assuming that each block of poo is actually a cube in 3 dimensions, we can say that each block of poo is equal to 8 cubic feet in volume, or 0.227 cubic meters. So our 141 blocks of poo add up to 1,128 cubic feet of poo, or almost 32 cubic meters. 32 cubic meters. To put that into context, that means every time the terrarium consumes a Golden Delight, they would excrete enough waste to form a cube more than 3 meters wide on each side. Incredible. However, what's even more incredible is how fast the terrarium must excrete in order to get that quantity of poo out in such a timely manner. In terraria, it takes on average 10 seconds to release poo on the toilet. 10 seconds. Shoving 32 cubic meters of poo through your tiny anus in 10 seconds is a truly extraordinary feat. Imagine how fast your poo would have to travel to exit that quickly. Well, we can calculate that and a few more things. Assuming the poo is negligibly compressible and relatively fluid, we can get the velocity of its expulsion by finding the total volume per second of poo we need to excrete and then comparing it to the size of the opening we have to excrete it from. In this context, we have 32 cubic meters of poo to excrete through a 3 inch diameter anus, which means that the poo is obviously going to be propelled relatively quickly. Dividing the volumetric flow rate by the area of the anal aperture yields the velocity of the effluent discharge at 700 meters per second. That's over Mach 2, twice the speed of sound. Yeah, the terrarium can break the sound barrier and then some, just by taking a shit. Amazing. Now, having the ability to clear your bowels this efficiently and rapidly might seem interesting or even somewhat powerful, but unfortunately it's never that easy. Due to Newton's third law of motion, excreting this massive quantity of excrement so fast downward into the toilet will reduce an incredible amount of unwanted recoil. 32 cubic meters of standard weight poo is about 34,000 kilograms, and we excrete a tenth of that every second downwards at twice the speed of sound. So now we have a question no one has ever asked before. How fast and how high will the terrarium go from their poop rocket? Using Tsiolkovsky's rocket equation, we can get a pretty decent answer. Assuming no loss to gravity or drag to satisfy the equation's assumptions, plugging in our rocket properties results in a velocity change of over 4,000 meters per second. As the rocket has fired for 10 seconds, we can also count for gravity by deducting 98.1 meters per second, resulting in a number just below 4,000 meters per second of final velocity. That's Mach 12. During those 10 seconds, the terrarium will reach an altitude of 6,400 meters, and then continue flying upwards at breakneck speed. Assuming the terrarium still encounters no drag, they will reach a final altitude of 937 kilometers above the surface of the Earth before falling. The thrust of the terrarium poop rocket would also be 2.4 mega newtons, or more thrust than the space shuttle main engine at takeoff. So, just to recap, eating a Golden Delight and excreting its respective amount of poo is able to launch the terrarium upwards several kilometers into the air at 12 times the speed of sound, with the total thrust of a real rocket engine. It's amazing what terrarium math ends up working out to. If anything, the terrarium is truly having what we'd call a cosmic shit. Hello, if you're part of the three-fourths of my viewers who are not subscribed, consider subscribing as we are fewer than 1,500 subscribers from hitting the big 100k. Extra math and footnotes are also in the description. Either way though, thank you for watching, and good day and goodbye.